the screen layouts on Neo are fully customizable. You can open whatever windows you want, you can resize them, you can rearrange where they are. Um, so let's take a look at that. Um, I'm currently looking at the default layout. It's a very common layout you might have. It might be classic view, um, sidebar, and then the uh, parameter table bottom left. Um, now, we can see that we've got some window options, top right of every window that's currently open. If you can't see these, you're going to need to go and use your layout tools button at the top here. Um, but what these are showing me is that I can choose to open a new window within the segments. So the blue box would indicate where a new window would be open. So if I want to open a new window left half of this segment, I can go and click there and that then allows me to open a new window. I'm going to go and close that. So you've got the option to open, reopen new windows, but then you've also got the option to minimize or close. Anyway, if I minimize the window, then it means I can then go ahead and choose a new window. So I might want to go and open my um, color palettes instead, for example. Um, whereas if I close the window, it means that the window next to this then actually pop fills the gap. So in my case here, my window that I had on the right hand side has now actually gone full width because I closed the item that was on the left hand side. Um, so I'm going to go and reopen my window on the left hand side and I'm going to go and reopen my uh, attribute window there. So it's all fully customizable but once you've opened the windows you want, so maybe I'm going to open my shortcuts bottom right here, um, you can then just click and drag. So you can start to customize where these windows are by resizing left right up to down, up and down once you've got your windows open. Something else to be aware of as well, some of these windows will have a view pull down. These are view options specifically related to the current window you're in. So the sidebar that has different view options to the classic view, for example. Now, I'm actually going to go and create a completely new layout. So I'm going to close everything. I'm going to close that one, close this one, and close my classic view and my sidebar. And you'll see that now I've done that, it takes me to an empty page where I can start to open windows. And this window layout I'm going to create here is going to be my uh, kind of touch-friendly um, layout. It's going to have groups, it's going to have selection, it's going to have some palettes. So first window I'm going to open is indeed my groups. And I want this window, it's going to open full screen, but I want this top left. So I'm going to open a new window on the right-hand side. And I'm going to reopen a new window below my groups window. And that, of course, means my groups window stays top left. So um, what am I going to have on the right hand side here? Well, I would like to have my color palettes. I want them top right. So I'm going to open a new window on the bottom half. I'm then going to have my position palettes in here. And then what am I going to have on the bottom left? Well, actually, I might go to more and open my color picker window bottom left here. So I've now opened my, my different windows and I'm happy with that. So once you've got a window layout you're happy with, it is indeed a good idea to save that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my layouts um, sidebar here. I've got a little, a little arrow top right. And if I click that, that gives me my layout chooser on the right hand side. And I'm going to go and tap the record button on my console. And I'm then going to go and tap on an empty layout. And I can now give this a name. So I'm just going to call this my groups and palettes. And that's now stored. Now you see there that layout number one, I didn't create that. That's the default layout. So if I go and click that, we go back to that very familiar default layout we are used to. Um, and if I go and tap my new layout, um, straight away those windows are recalled in the layout that we defined. If I right click on one of these, I am able to update it. Um, so maybe rather than having positions bottom right, actually, I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to go and open my, uh, let's have faders. I'm going to go and open my faders bottom right. Um, I can update that. So I'm going to right click and say update and I'm going to say yes. So that now I can go straight from my main display to my updated layout that now has the faders window. Also from in, here, from in here, I can right click and as well as updating, I can of course clear it, I could move it 
um, but I can also edit it so I can change things like the uh, the group name if I the, the layout name if I want to as well so maybe I'm going to call this groups uh, palettes and faders in my case now and click update and now I've got that updated with the updated name so I can very quickly get to the layouts that I want.